YouTubers, Mike Martin's here, Mike Martin's channel. I want to thank everyone for joining me. I want to thank all my Londoners, all my friends from the Great Britain watching the show. Uh, don't forget to tune in Wednesday. Wednesday nights at my time will be early morning air time. I'm Wednesday night Tijuana time, 9 p.m. Don't forget to tune in. Uh, let's 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 kick this off here. This is actually a very important uh, uh, article with a kind of a bright side to it. Boris Johnson left a terrible housing crisis legacy in London after the government must fix his mess. So, basically, the new government coming into play needs to fix what's going on here. Let's let's kick this off here. As a member of Parliament in London, I see the shocking impact of Britain's housing crisis in my constituency every day. However, the housing crisis is a national one. It is one of the biggest causes of unfairness and inequality in our country today. See, they got it right here. The biggest causes of unfairness and inequality in our country today. Families living in overcrowded conditions face decades on waiting lists for housing, for social housing. Young professionals, young professionals, yes, the people that bought into student loans are living with their parents in, into their 30s because they can't afford the cost of a rental deposit. Rental deposit, never mind rent. Young families stand no chance of buying a home of their own and the, sh and the sharpest edge. The lack of housing is causing poverty, health problems, homelessness, and rough sleeping. The cause of this crisis is clear. Brit uh, Britain is simply not investing enough into to, to build the number of new homes we need every year. Seven years of Tory, uh, seven years of Tory under in uh, under investment has left millions of either priced out of the market or exploited by rogue landlords. I had to kind of zoom that in there. So it's showing that the previous government here didn't. Um, before the uh, 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 mayor Khan came into came into power, did not invest into the uh, poor, working poor, and middle class. Theresa May herself acknowledges it is a disaster, especially for young people. The house prices are outstripping earnings at a time when not enough new homes are being built. Again, this new home's not being built. What about the 100 what 180,000 empty units across Great Britain? What about that? I mean, what about the 30,000 empty units across London that are be, uh, owned by investors? Like why can't they be rented out to people? Anyways, the government has made a lot of noise to show that they are listening to the public's desperate need for real action by in reality they are barely tinkering around the edges. So what, what happens? So you got a free market country. All English-speaking countries are free market. And I think, in my opinion, what happened, especially like in London, Vancouver, Australia, all the different Melbourne, Sydney, Auckland, New Zealand, what happened was this free market was put into place, hopefully so wealthy investors would come, live in the country, pay taxes in the country, eventually open businesses in the country, invest in the country, and uh, be prosper in the country. That's what the whole meaning of free market was. But we were, a lot of us were taking for a ride and we were taking advantage of. How were we taking advantage of? A lot of the free, uh, a lot of people came in, used the free market to buy up our real estate, our parks, our national parks, our ski resorts, and that's what has been happening. So basically, as of now, London, Vancouver, Toronto, cities like that, have basically sold out the next generation's chance to own or the next two generations chance to own or be have some sort of ownership because what happened with the housing market was housing became vacant they they, they were purchased and left vacant and abandoned and hopefully to sell one day at huge huge unfair profits to the working poor of the countries of their of their of the citizens of the countries this is a problem this is a major problem. Now, housing has become a commodity and not an investment anymore. So thinking you're going to own and buy and pay off, it's not going to happen. Like a lot of those young tech millennials and people that are having decent wages are turning down jobs in bigger cities because they can't afford the cost of living. And it's happened many times over. Anyways, guys, let me know what you guys think about this. It's happening everywhere. And it's becoming a major problem. Let me know what you guys think. Comment below. Who would have thought 
that the fall of, 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 of the economy or something that would bring down a country would be its housing, its housing issues, would bring an, a country to its knees economically, would be housing. Who would have thought that 30 years ago? Were, oh, housing. Anyone can buy a house. 30 years later, can't even pay rent working 70 hours a week. Comment below. Your uh, comments are much appreciated. Thank you.